I know a lot of times when men are talking about women here in the States, they talk about, oh, they just want you for their money. Is that a same concern for you e dating abroad? Well, if there was any black men that are watching this show and you were worried about, well, how much money is it going to cost? Let me show you. So I'm not with nobody because I don't want to hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you want to be somebody, even if you got to leave somebody. Concerned. Um, okay. So I know a lot of times when men are talking about women here in the States, they talk about, oh, they just want you for their money, for your money, blah, 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 blah. Is that a same concern for you dating abroad? So that's another fake, con fake caring, fake concern in regards to trying to stop black men from going overseas because they're trying to highlight the fact that, well, women overseas are going to want money as well. But as we all know, women want money everywhere. So what makes it different overseas? Simple. Appreciation of what you're providing and reciprocating before any money is spent. That's the biggest difference. When I used to date in foreign countries, the difference is that those women are appreciative before you give them any incentive to do certain things for you. They're going to be nice to you. They're going to cook for you. They're going to do things that are very feminine, very respectful. So they'll make sure that you're taken care of before you spend any money on them. So when that happens, men are very generous when we're treated well. There's not much that a lot of men buy. So when we have a woman who is taking care of all of our needs and we feel appreciated, the money just start coming out of men's pockets. Hey, whatever you want. Here you go. So the difference is that these women are taking care of these guys, so they don't mind spending. And if there's an issue with the, you know, with the cost of spending, let me go ahead and play this video by one master teacher. He actually changed his name to his full name after he retired, Skyler. He did this video a while back, actually breaking down where Americans rank in the hierarchy of income earned in the world. So if there was any black men that are watching this show and you were worried about, well, how much money is it going to cost? Let me show you. Let's talk median income. Black men, black men, black men. Um, I hate to bust your bubble and I hate to break your delusion, but these women overseas don't want y'all. They want the Chris Browns. They want the Trey Songs. They want the black men that have money. All right. And this, I think this is part of the reason why they want to gatekeep and they, they, they kind of want to keep you in the United States. What does the average American make in the United States? When we, and what this, what this data is showing us is for the whole world. If you take a look, American citizens throughout the whole world comes in number two for median income in the whole world. So if you're making $50,000 a year, you are a top earner globally. We see the median income here for America is 42,800. This is from 2019. Luxembourg is number one, but I don't count Luxembourg because Luxembourg is a city state and they only have 600,000 people. So based off of my data and based off of what I see, you are already number one. They go out and they tell you, hey, you need to go out and make more. You need to make yourself better. You're already good enough. For all you men that be like, I'm gonna go overseas and get me a foreign girl. <laughs> Just to let you know that even though, yes, they may be nicer. Yes, they may be more sub submissive and prettier. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I put that extra, the extra videos in there. But as you guys can see, the U.S. ranks number two in average income earned. And like Skylar said, Luxembourg, which is, uh, you know, in Europe, close to Germany. I'm actually going to go there the next time I go visit my homeboy. It's only like 600,000 people over there. And it's one of the richest city states that we have in the world. So that's why they rank number one. However, if you look at the actual numbers and how many people that we have in the states, what is it, like 330 million? Yes, the U.S. makes more on average than any other country in the world. So, gentlemen, black men in particular, go overseas. Money will not be an issue if you're making at least $42,000 a year, even less than that. 
So all this fake care about, oh, how much is it going to cost? There is none. None at all. If you guys have been following me for a while, I already put out the statistics. Black men on average make about forty-four to forty-six thousand dollars a year, on average. So that puts us above the median income rates for the American population. We're good. We're already there. So all this fake care about money and things like that, let it go in one ear and out the other. You're good, bro. 